Do not attempt to adjust your set. This is a streaming freedom video bulletin. It cannot be stopped, and it is the only free voice left on the net. So, no doubt, if you are a fan of GTA Online, then you've heard going around YouTube uh, on the GTA channels that the Mark II is going to be getting another nerf. It's going to be getting it this month. The second one, as far as I know, that it has received since getting into the game. And I am not at all happy about this. And I'll tell you the reason why. It's because this isn't going to stop the griefing situation in GTA Online whatsoever. Because unlike what the majority of GTA YouTubers would have you believe that the, uh, they lump us all in together that the only people that use this vehicle is griefers and that's the only reason why we use it. No, as a money grinder, I use this vehicle to efficiently and quickly grind out things like the Kale Preco heist to the point that I've made $91 million from the Kale Preco heist and part of that is definitely in thanks to the efficiency of this vehicle. This vehicle is an absolutely amazing money grinding machine that unfortunately yes is used by griefers right along with every other weaponized vehicle in the game. I see people griefing in jets, in Toreadors, in Deluxos, everything. This vehicle is far from the only vehicle used by griefers. Now, from the way that I understand it, the way they uh, intend to stop the griefing situation with the Mark II is by altering how effective the tracking system is on it so that the missiles are a lot less effective. Missiles that, by the way, are not nearly as overpowered as a lot of people claim they are. They are definitely good, yes. Uh, they're much better than the old OG missiles of, like, say, the Buzzard, for example. But they're not nearly as good as, say, the missiles on the Ruiner. But the way that they're planning on stopping the grief griefing situation is by altering them to where they're a lot less effective and they'll hit far less. Now, wouldn't it make sense, why can't we take, like, say, any non-weaponized vehicle and put the Imani tech on that instead of just a few that we're able to now why can't I take my Karuma bring it into the agency and put a lock-on jammer on that to where somebody can't just come by lock on and get a cheap kill wouldn't that put a stop to the griefing situation I mean it wouldn't put a stop to it any more than you know any of the error they can still free aim but that's the whole point if the lock-on isn't as efficient and it could miss if they don't have a lock on at you at all, they got a free aim, they could miss. It's the same thing. But by allowing me to have a money tech on other vehicles that I normally would not be able to, non-weaponized vehicles, then that affects the griefer because they're not able to get a cheap kill. However, by changing the targeting system of the Mark II, which has a limit of 20 missiles, all that's doing is making it to where me as the money grinder I am unable to use the vehicle it's not going to be nearly as efficient and so if I'm using it for something like say a KO Preco high setup where I've got a bunch of enemies on the ground I have a limit of 20 missiles and the majority of those missiles are missing like say the same thing that a buzzard's missiles which are absolutely horrible in my opinion and often miss do the buzzard is unlimited so you can continue to just, you know, shoot missiles. But the Mark II, having a limit of 20, if it's pretty much useless for uh, grinding, then I'm not going to use it. I'm going to have to find something else, which is going to make now the money grind a lot longer and possibly more difficult where I can get in and out quickly with the Mark II in certain areas with something like, say, the Sparrow that I don't really like to use because... It takes too long to take off with it to where the enemy soldiers can like aimbot you right through the window and kill you. Where with the Mark II I can take off right away. As well as being able to get into small or tight areas with the Mark II where I can't on the other. It will take me a lot longer than 
to grind that money. And I believe that is the real reason why they're doing this. They figure if they take and make it harder to be able to grind money uh, in this game, then you might decide something that is now going to take you a lot longer that you were able to do real quickly before, you might decide to go ahead and just shark card it. And I got news for Rockstar. I have not now, nor will I ever, shark card anything in this damn game and they can take those shark cards and stick them up their ass and really I have now the same uh, sentimentality to any other vehicles that they add in or that I haven't currently bought yet because what is the point of buying the vehicles they have no right when I buy a vehicle and I buy it for the uh, way that it is that's the reason why I'm buying it they have no right to take and alter that vehicle after I have bought it you know it's just like with the tuner vehicles for example the tuner vehicles when they first came into the into the game in my opinion were really good they handled excellently and it was because of how good they handled that I bought some of them I wouldn't have bought them otherwise it wasn't for their looks or what they were it was because I really liked the way they handled then they go in and they nerfed all the tuner vehicles. Now some of those still handle alright, some of them pretty good, but some of them handle absolutely horribly now. And I wouldn't have bought that vehicle, you know, if it would have been like that originally. I bought it because of the way that it was, and then they go and they alter it. Yet, I still, I'm not, you know, reimbursed in some money, there's not a difference in money given because... Uh, if they alter something, then they all have to take in change how much it costs. Because it's, it's the same thing that you have in real life where you go to the store, you get something, and later on you go back and you get, and you notice that you're getting less, but you're still paying the same amount, or hell in a lot of instances paying more. You know, it'd be no different than in real life if you had a car, and you bought the car because you really liked this this and this on it and the way that it performed uh, it worked really well and then a few months later here comes Rockstar knocking and say oh hey by the way we're going to remove this off your vehicle we're gonna strip this off of here uh, we're gonna take the performance we're gonna scale that back to where it's not nearly as good at performing that's bullshit. They'd have no right to do that, obviously, you know. But that's essentially what they are doing here. And if the Mark II was the only vehicle that was used in the game for griefing, and this legitimately would put a stop to that, where to where people that ain't bothering anybody could, you know, play in peace, I would say, okay, fine. It's a fair trade-off. And... You know, I can take, as a money grinder, make it more difficult for me, the fact that it's for the, better, the uh, betterment of everybody. But it's not. Because this isn't going to stop griefers whatsoever. People that are really good at griefing with this don't fucking use a lock-on anyways. They free aim it. And that, that's the whole point. I don't use this motherfucker for griefing. I never have. And if I ever try to fight somebody with it. And I will blow myself up every damn time trying to hit them. Because I can't, you know, free aim the motherfucker for shit. But somebody that knows what they're doing. You know, they don't even need that fucking lock-on. And again, you could easily stop... Uh, the lock on griefing simply by allowing us to put the missile jammer on any non weaponized vehicle that would stop the griefers right in their tracks this however is just targeting the money grinder to where we won't be able to nearly as quickly or efficiently make money in the game to where we make far less of it and may have to resort to shark cards again something that I will not do This has been a Streaming Freedom Video Bulletin. Peace out.